If you're running Facebook ads and not using this tool, you're throwing money away. There's this free tool that lets you see exactly what's working for your competitors so you can steal their best ad strategies, ethically, of course, and start running higher converting ads without wasting your budget on testing. It's called the Facebook Ads Library, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to use it to find winning ads, analyze competitor strategies, and craft better performing ads for your business. But before you even start researching competitors, there is one crucial step most people skip. And if you skip it, your ads won't convert anyway. I'll explain what it is in just a second, but first, let me show you why the Facebook ads library is the ultimate competitive advantage. What if you could instantly see the exact ads that your competitors are running? That's what the Facebook ads library lets you do. It's this free tool from Meta, you may also see it called the Meta Ads Library, that lets you search, view, and analyze ads running across Facebook and Instagram. So, instead of guessing what works, you can see what successful brands in your niche are already spending money on, the ad styles, images, and copy that actually convert. But here's the thing, even the best ads won't work if your business isn't set up properly on Meta. So before you start researching competitors, make sure your business page, your organic strategy, and ad setup are solid. That's where the Marketer's Guide to Meta comes in. It is a step-by-step -step playbook that walks you through setting up your business, growing organically, and running profitable ads without wasting budget on trial and error. And the best part? It's completely free. I've linked it below, so go grab it now because it goes hand in hand with this video. Now that you're set up for success, let's dive into how to actually use the Facebook ads library like a pro. So let's pull up the ads library together and check out some real examples. So this is the Facebook ads library. Here, you can filter by country to see what ads are running in your target market. You can either search by keyword, industry, or you can see what ads specific companies are running. For example, if you wanna see how companies are getting email signups, you can search email newsletter. Or if you're in software as a service, you can search SaaS and see what comes up. Or you can filter by company. So let's search HubSpot and find their official Facebook page and see what ads they're running. Now, if you've been using the ads library but not doing this, you're probably missing out on the best insights. So over under the filter option here, you can filter by the language, where the ad is running, what type of media the ad is. And what's really cool is you can look at active versus inactive ads. Here's a little tip. If an ad has been running for months, it's likely a winner. All right, quick checkpoint. Have you actually used the Facebook ads library before? Type yes in the comments if you have or no if this is your first time seeing it. All right, now that we've pulled up the ads library, how do you actually analyze what's working? You think you know what works in ads, but can you actually spot the difference between a successful ad and a failing ad? Most people just scroll through the ads library without actually understanding what makes an ad successful. So here's what to look for. How long has the ad been running? If an ad has been running for months, it is likely a high performer. Brands don't waste money on bad ads. What type of creative do they use? Videos tend to get higher engagement than static images, but carousels are great for showcasing multiple products. What's the call to action? Are they using shop now, sign up, or learn more? If multiple brands in your industry are using the same CTA, it works. And if you see an ad that you like, you can click on it and even get more insights about it, like what text they're using or where they're directing the viewer to. It's pretty cool, right? By the way, if this video is helping you out, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up to let me know. Also, feel free to subscribe to this channel. My name is Bridget. This channel is called HubSpot Marketing, and we're breaking down the most up-to-date digital marketing strategies every single week, and I'd love to see you back here next week. Now, what if you want to use Facebook Ads Library, but you don't have any direct competitors running ads? Don't worry, I've got a trick for you. If no one in your niche is running ads, here's how to still get valuable insights. 
Look at big brands in similar industries. For example, if you sell handmade jewelry, check out Majuri. Or if you own a local gym, look at how global fitness brands like F45 structure their ads. We're about to talk about how to take what's working for them and adapt it for your business. But before you start applying these insights, make sure that you have a solid paid advertising strategy in place. If you want a seven step walkthrough of how to create a Facebook and Instagram ad strategy, check out chapter four of the Marketer's Guide to Meta. That's that free guide that I linked in the description. So I've showed you how to find competitor ads. Now let's take it a step further and turn that research into your best performing ad. It's one thing to see what competitors are doing, but the real power comes from adapting those strategies to your brand. There are five steps to this and stick around for number five because it is the number one mistake people make with Facebook ads that costs them thousands. Step one is to reverse engineer high-performing ads. If you see an ad that's getting a ton of engagement, don't just copy it. Recreate the formula so it works for your audience. To do this, you will want to look for common patterns across multiple ads. Look at their storytelling. Are they using a personal story or an emotional hook? Look at their social proof. Are testimonials, reviews, or influencer endorsements driving engagement? Are they creating urgency by running limited time offers or countdowns or flash sales? What creatives are they using? Videos, static images, or carousels? Which one is performing the best? Once you spot the patterns, use them as your blueprint for your ad. Step two is to steal the framework, not the exact ad. If a competitor is offering free shipping today, try a similar incentive, but make it your own. If they're using a customer testimonial ad, run your own with real customer reviews or user-generated content. If their ad is all about lifestyle imagery, test a similar aspirational tone that works for your audience. Step three is to test similar creative styles. If video ads are dominating in your industry, don't just run static images. Test different video styles like short form TikTok style content or behind the scenes brand moments or quick explainer videos. Step four is to adapt your call to action strategy. Are most brands using shop now or sign up? Are they using conversational call to actions like DM us to learn more? Are they running lead gen forms instead of sending people to a website? However, instead of just copying their CTA, make sure to A-B test different CTA buttons to measure what gets you the best conversion rates. And step five, don't ignore AI. This mistake can cost you thousands. Instead of guessing what works, let AI do the heavy lifting. Meta's Advantage Plus campaigns will test multiple versions of your ad simultaneously and can identify which audiences engage best. And what's really cool is that it'll automatically shift your budget to what's working, saving you time and money. Now that you know how to research your competitors' ads, analyze them, and apply what you've learned, you need a solid strategy to make sure that your ads actually convert. So download the free Marketer's Guide to Meta linked below for a step-by-step -step frameworks on optimizing your ad campaigns. It'll take you from beginner to pro faster than trial and error. Next, it's time to test your own winning ad. I'm gonna link a video right after this where I'll show you how to AB test your Facebook ads to find what actually works. Now, before you go, don't forget to give this video a like and consider subscribing to this channel for more digital marketing strategies every single week. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I will see you next time. Bye.